All right, so lack of content, number 10. Uh, so this was a this is a big one that I see quite often is, is people have taken the time to make their website look nice and, uh, and they've, they put their services on there, but it's really just not much content explaining the benefits and features of the services. Really taking the time to add that content and educate your users is very important and you do that through content. Yeah, I mean, what's the point of publishing a website if you're not really explaining anything, if you're not standing out. Everybody has a website online now and somebody that's doing a Swedish massage out of their living room or a basement, which is creepy, right? Could be <laughs> ranking higher than you, that you might have a professional business that's been in business for 20, 25 years. Right. And you could be dropping the ball tremendously by just not filling in the pages. I mean, you can hire somebody like us or me or maybe even your cousin that's an English major or something to just fill in that stuff for you. Take the time maybe to do an interview with somebody and have them ask you those questions and have them record you. It doesn't take a lot of time, but you need to fill in those gaps. I mean, just like everything we've explained, imagery enhances it, uh, heading tags enhance it, having genuine content on your website enhances everything that you're doing online. But so many businesses just don't plug anything in at all. They think that, like I started off this whole video, that you just launch a site and people come. Um, you know, and it doesn't, the buck doesn't even really stop there with just filling in your on page content because you really have opportunity there for your portfolio, for news articles, um, podcasts, maybe, and especially blogs. You know, we went into a lot of detail about the importance of publishing a blog strategy and really how that. Um, you know, spider webs out your SEO by, um, you know, allocating relevant search terms that support your, your products and services. So, you know, content is king. Content is everything right now. Authentic content is where it's at. And if you're not taking really the time or putting an effort into this avenue uh, of your business, this is, this is a huge mistake. And, you know, we ended it this way because we think it's the most important um, mistake that many business owners make. You know, really invest in your business, explain your business so that consumers, the public, your community, um, the potential partners can start believing in you. Right, right. And all this boils down to is just driving more traffic to your website, converting that traffic into valuable leads, and eventually long term customers. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us today for our top 10 mistakes of launching a website. Hope you guys leave with some awesome information. If you need anything, let us know. Our stuff will be here at the bottom of the screen. And, you know, as always, um, be purposeful with everything that you do. I don't know why I said that.